Thank you for tuning in to the Force Production Powerlifting Channel. My name is Lawrence Malchef and today this video is being made for those of you who are new to the snake diet and for those of you who are having difficulty with the people around you not being supportive. Today I want to talk about uh, social eating in this context. There are two uh, women that I am coaching right now, Vanessa and Amanda. And they both have the same thing in common as far as the negativity from the people who, who are closest to them or the people who are in their social circle. And the same thing with me. I, we all, all three of us have the same thing in common. And that family and friends think it's dangerous. And as a result, they're worried about their well-being. That's understandable. And if not done correctly, fasting is hard on the body. But it is not deadly. But you have to keep your electrolytes up with the snake juice. Now back to the family and friends. Because family and friends cannot understand, in addition to not having any experience at all with fasting, and even furthermore, we have in this country an obsession with fad diets that make no sense at all. The people who are, who, who, who are against what we are doing, they have a reactionary response. I even had a nurse tell me that what I was doing was, quote, stupid. So she called me stupid. That was a really intelligent thing for a medical professional to say. Especially after she had watched my videos, had seen my video on, on uh, my physical, my stress test, and my blood panel results, which were stellar, by the way. And, by the way, I have another one of those coming up soon. Once I hit 205 and rehydrate, then I will go take the stress test again. I think I'll take the same test fasted as well. But that's for another time. But let me ask you this. People, people who have been deprived to food to the point of starving and then pushed beyond... Unfortunately, how long did they survive? I've gone five days, no food or water, while at the same time performing strenuous exercise, sprinting, walking 18 holes of golf, five days straight. And on the fifth day after, after completing 18 holes of golf, I was talking with one of the people who I was playing golf with, and my hearing started to sound a little funny like I was in a, like I was in a, in a tunnel. And I had planned on breaking the fast anyway on that day, and I said, yep, that's a good time to break the fast. But I wasn't dizzy, I wasn't wobbling all around and in danger of stumbling and dying a heat stroke or anything like that. My hearing just sounded a little weird. Kind of like if you plug your, if you plug your, uh, one ear and then you keep talking and then you unplug the other one and you kind of go back and forth that's what kind of what my hearing started sound like so i immediately um went and got a gatorade and everything came right back to normal within seconds of me finishing a bottle of gatorade about like this big um so here's a tip for you who are going to run into negative comments from loved ones and friends <clears throat> they still love for, they still love you and they're still your friends. But you must live your life. You have to try, you have to try something in order to know if something is right for you. Vanessa, whom I mentioned at the start of this video, comes from a culture in Portugal where hot cuisine, fine dining and food is a regular social occurrence in her social circle. And it is antisocial to not participate. 
But what do you do if you're on a completely different program? I recommended that she just show up to the, to the next time uh, a social gathering comes up. Hold her ground politely and push through. Because it is a situation like that that will, and I was telling her, this will afford you the opportunity to get valuable feedback about how bad you want to continue snake dieting, how much support you have, and how to think about moving forward, becoming better at your fasting routine. Because I mentioned to her, if you make it through this social gathering and you hold, you stick to your guns, you're going to know more about yourself than you've ever known before. And you'll be stronger. After her social eating and drinking event had passed, she told me in a direct message, and I quote, they crucified me. But then they let me go. Lots of questions and they weren't happy, nor did they comprehend, but it is okay. I felt relief for telling them about my path. See, a lot of you, you're just worried about how people are going to react. You're worried about being judged. If you've watched enough Cole's, Cole Robinson videos, this is exactly what Vanessa was saying. She was afraid of being judged. She didn't want to deal with it. I've talked with people who, who shared Vanessa's same worries. I've talked with people who have, who have shared the worries of being judged by religious people because they're a certain religion. I don't really give a shit because, you know, um, I found the answer. And, and unless somebody offers me something that's better... Uh, they can, they can, you know, it's thanks for telling me, but no, thank you. So take Vanessa's words to heart and just let people be how they're going to be and live your life. Once they begin to see that you're getting results, they'll change their minds. I guarantee it. Okay, guys, thanks for tuning into this episode and I'll talk to you later. Bye.